Oh, I knew him four, five, six years before, but I'd never liked him at all until after I started dating him. We went together steady for two weeks, and then we were married. And we were married 62 years, nearly 63. He was a boxer on the side, and uh, I went to ball games with him, and I went to parties with him. And my mother thought that he was wonderful, but I never even dated him up until about two or three months before we were married. I remember I bought me a coat, and I bought me a beautiful blue dress. They called it soldier blue was the color in it. And uh, we went over there and we got the uh, judge up out of his bed and he didn't put, he put his clothes on over his pajamas <laughs> and he went and married us. Of course, we were to let no one know. I had a diploma that you open up like a book and it showed when you graduated, where, when, how. So I put my marriage license on the front of that. I wasn't thinking about it. I just wanted it out smooth and true and closed it up and put it away. And so this friend that lived downstairs from us came every year. And so my mother was telling about, well, Helen Clare graduated this, that, and the other. You haven't seen it. So Ms. Swartz went up and opened the cedar chest and got the <coughs> book out for my graduation and it opened out the diploma. But she said, Ms. Thompson, I'm afraid this isn't a diploma, this is a marriage license. And of course, my mother had a fit. He was supposed to ship out and go to war on Monday morning. He was going on a, what they called a shakedown cruise. And instead of that, he had been married and another boy had been married over the weekend. So they kept them home for a while. We would play poker with my uncle and aunt and their friends on Saturday night, just one other couple. And when he came home from the service, he came and scratched on the window when we were playing poker and the screen, and I said, that's my daddy. And I jumped over the table, knocked all the chips every place, poker chips. <laughs> and uh, I went and he was came home and he was fine. And I think that rounded out a real beautiful story.